Hi, this is Sarah from Storybook Designs, and I just wanted to show you a few online photo editing sites that will help you um, in putting together photography and making some great collage images for your blogs, for your websites, and or for your Facebook pages. A lot of people had been using a um, um, company that is escaping right now that went out of business and so people are scrambling trying to find other sites that are available for them to be able to edit photos. So there are a few. There is um, Picisto, P-I-C-I-S-T-O dot com is one that you can check out. Ribbit, R-I-B-B-E-T dot com is another one. And photo editor uh, Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. Pixlr, if you are at all familiar with Photoshop, is the most like Photoshop. So if you don't have that program but you've used it before, you may actually enjoy this particular site. The one I really want to talk to you about, though, and I'm going to show you a little bit more of, because I think it's the most user-friendly, it's so intuitive. So if you don't have a lot of, you know, um, you don't feel that you're te technically savvy, you will really enjoy PicMonkey, P I C monkey dot com. So with PicMonkey, it's a free site, no um, registration required, which is, is fabulous and unheard of, and I'm sure it's temporary. But with PicMonkey, you can edit a photo and you can also create collages, just like you see here on their homepage. So let me just go quickly into editing a photo. Um, the minute I click on that, it brings me to my, you know, Explorer window for my, so I can select a photo from my hard drive. And I am going to grab this photo here and I'm going to open that up and it's going to open in a new window. So when I'm in here, what I can do is this is the basic window right here for basic edits, which gives you the opportunity to crop, rotate, change exposure, change colors, sharpen, resize. I can also go to um, this window, which has the special effects. And this is fantastic because you can see if I just apply, oh, well, that's not a good one. Let me do cross process and apply that. It looks pretty neat. It really changes the look of the photo. And whichever one that you decide, you know, just you can fool around with these. It's easy enough to test these out just by flipping through from one to the other to see what the different effects do. And if you accidentally hit apply, that's okay because there's this great little undo button. So you can keep un hitting undo until you go back to the original photo. The next feature is um, really awesome. It's touch up features. And so this is great for blemish fixes, which is awesome for red eye, uh, airbrush, wrinkle remover. Who doesn't want that? There is a uh, weight loss feature. Uh, that's another one that quite popular <laughs> and eye tint mascara there's another red eye remover although like I said the blemish fix actually will also work for that and then you have this text feature here so if I wanted to type something I type it here I love my doggy and I hit add and now I have text on my photo so I can just play around here on the spectrum tool and decide which color I want and then I can use this drag and resize option to um, change the size of the font. And then just clicking through all these different fonts immediately uh, changes the font on the photo. So that is a great, I'm going to add that and just leave that, great tool. Then you can add special effects like Miss, because I really love my doggy. I'm going to add a little heart in there. And you can, again, use the spectrum tool to change the colors on that. Then you have framing options. And lastly, you have textures that you can add to change the look of the photo. So that is a really fast, down and dirty introduction to PicMonkey. I promise you, anybody can use this tool. Just give yourself a little time, and I have a feeling you're going to be sending me emails telling me that you just spent anywhere between 4 to 12 hours on PicMonkey because you were having so much fun. So good luck and have fun. Thank you.